Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kermit's Ghost. Monday has come around again. That's really quick, really quick. It's another Blu-ray release day here in the UK. I'm heading into town, but obviously I'm on the beach at the moment. It's a scorcher down on the seafront. Actually rained for like five seconds just now. There was a, a couple of clouds in the sky. It's eight-ish in the morning, and it's already in probably the 70s. Uh, that's old school. Maybe uh, if you're younger, the mid 20s so it's going to be a nice hot day fantastic get myself a nice hot coffee from somewhere You've got to drink a hot drink when it's hot oddly enough does cool you down tea is a good one but on a mountain world can get a coffee anyway i'm going to head up to town as i said a lot of films coming out today i'm after four so we'll see if hmv have got them on the on the shelves and i'll show you everything that gets released as well let's go and talking of the weather this was my thermometer in the garden last night got to a a very hot 38 degrees so hopefully not going to be as hot today let's go and get a coffee today's shout out is to a channel called the blue corner it's a channel run by a man called dennis who lives in denmark he's a huge fan of asian cinema particularly martial art movies as well as the 80s action classics like me he's a lifelong fan of bruce willis dennis took a few months off youtube but now he's back just uploaded a couple of videos so go and check him out you will not be disappointed so here we go into HMV. They've got the poster up there for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Lots of titles out today. So let's see what is available on the 18th of July in HMV. So the big title of the week is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This is released on several formats today. You've got the very slim case on the Blu-ray priced at 14 99 It's also a DVD priced here at 9 99 This is from Disney Bonavista. It's from 2022. has a runtime of 126 minutes and he's a 12 certificate. There's also a double pack. Not sure how much this was. For some reason, they've put both of the Blu-rays there in slim cases. And of course, you have the 4K release. This is very nice. Got a nice glossy slip. It's also in a thicker case, which I would prefer but this is priced at $24.99. So if you want to pay the extra, then go for that one. The other big title today is The Northman. This is from Universal Studios, has a number of releases, this one. Got the Blu-ray here at $14.99. This is from this year, and it's got a 15 certificate and a runtime of two hours, 17 minutes. Here's the DVD. Neither the Blu-ray, the DVD, or the 4K or has a slip cover. DVD is priced at $9.99. Here's the 4K, priced at $24.99. This one is directed by Robert Eggers and it stars Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, Ethan Hawke and Anya Taylor-Joy. Here's a cine edition. This is priced at $29.99. Next is the Mumbai release of Drive My Car. This is from 2021, has a massive runtime of 179 minutes and carries a 15 certificate. This foreign drama has a Japanese-only audio, but it does have English subtitles. Got the Blu-ray priced at $14.99 and the DVD priced at $9.99. They both come with lovely slipcovers. Next, we have a three-format re-release of Red Sonja. We've got the Blu-ray here priced at $14.99 and a lovely glossy slipcover. This is a 4K restoration put out from Studio Canal. film itself is from 1985. There is a DVD there priced at $9.99 got a runtime of just 89 minutes and it carries a 15 certificate there's the 4k there at 19.99 this one stars arnold schwarzenegger and bridget nelson next is a foreign drama from picture house entertainment it's happening and this isn't the m night Shyamalan film this is 14.99 it's also a dvd released at 9.99 pretty sure this has been in hmv now for about three weeks but i could be wrong this one is 100 minutes over in the Arrow film section now, and our first release happens to be a Spanish film called The Sacred Spirit. This is a limited edition, it's from 2021, priced at $17.99, just a 97 minute runtime, carries a 15 certificate, it deals with UFOs and human destiny. Another Arrow release, and this time it's The Righteous. This is from 2021, has a runtime of 97 minutes, carries a 15 certificate. This again is priced at $17.99 and it's directed by Mark O'Brien. This one deals with the subject of God. Another Arrow release today is Hell High, also known as Raging Fury. This is from 1989 and it's 84 minutes, comes with an 18 certificate and a very unusual slipcover. There's no information on the back, priced at $17.99. Over in the 88 film section now, and we have a martial arts film called Martial Club. This is from 1981. 
has a runtime of 110 minutes and for a boutique label this has got a pretty good price at 14.99 which i think is pretty fair comes with a lovely slip cover too over in the Criterion section now, and we have a film from 2017, it's Okia, it's from South Korea, and oddly enough, it does have quite a large American cast, including Lily Collins, Jake Gyllenhaal, Tilda Swinton, Paul Dano, and Kelly MacDonald. This is about a giant genetic pig, it's 120 minutes and priced at 22.99. Over in the 101 film section now, and our first release is Treasure of the Ninja. This film's from 1987, has a runtime of 110 minutes and carries a 15 certificate. This film was produced, written, stars and directed by William Lee. It also features the films of William Lee. This is yours for 14 99 Next one, 101 films is The Curious Dr. Hump. That's right, Dr. Hump. This film is from 1969. It's got a runtime of 87 minutes and carries an 18 certificate. And rightly so, if you read the synopsis, this is priced at $14.99. Next is a release that came out on the 14th of July. It's from Screenbound Pictures and its followers. This was from 2021, has a runtime of 83 minutes, has a 15 certificate. It's about a social media influencer that lives in a haunted house. It's yours for $14.99. So over to the superhero section. Yes, we have a superhero section. It's DC's Legends of Tomorrow, the complete seventh and final season from Warner Brothers, which ran from 2021 through to 2022. This is 547 minutes and priced at $29.99. Has a 15 certificate. Next is The Fear Index through Dazzler Media. This is season one. It's from 2022, has a runtime 180 minutes and has a 15 certificate. This one stars Josh Hartnett as a computer programmer who releases an AI product that probably isn't quite ready for the shelves. Blu-ray is priced at $19.99 and the DVD is priced at $14.99. There's no 4K release for this today. So that's it with HMV and the releases for this week. I'll show you what I picked up in a minute. I'm going to pop into Miniso now. This shop here, which I did feature in my video last week when I did a walkthrough of all the shops available. They sell merchandise from Disney, Marvel, that kind of thing. And I wanted to show you a couple of items they have. First one being the Mechanical Robot Mickey. This is quite unusual. Don't know why he's a robot. Metal Mickey springs to mind, but there you go. Let's have a look at this one. It's got like an antenna on the top. Doesn't move around. It's not animated at all. It's just a nice little object. And he is priced at £30. Also, they've got some Tom and Jerry in store as well. Little figures from Tom and Jerry. There's none on display, so I'm going to open this box up. Don't mind me while I destroy this box. These should be open for you to see. So you can uh, get a look at what it is you're buying. This is quite tough to do with one hand, so bear with me. There's probably a little bag in here. It's all, are these one of these blind buy bags, so you, you don't know what it is you're going to get. That's probably why they got them all sealed. But let's open this one up, see what they got inside. You've either got Tom or you've got Jerry. Which one do you think I've got in here? Well, there's the little stand. That might be a clue. I don't know, but let's have a look. There's the figure coming out. Now, it's Jerry, little Jerry. So he's quite a nice little figure. I think these were priced at about... £12, I think. So I'm going to put him on his stand up on the stage. That's a really nice little display there. Don't worry, they'll thank me for that later. And then let's have a look see what else they've got. I'm only kidding. I actually know the manager and she said I could open these up. So don't give me any grief in the comments. There's a little card there. These are also what are available. You've got Tom, you've got Jerry in, in different forms. And there are some other merchandise here. We've got this mouse mat, we've got, I don't know what that is, a puzzle, I think, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's a puzzle. Then there's a cup in that box there. This is the biggest mouse mat I've ever seen. It's about three feet long, probably do as a doormat. And there's a doormat next to it anyway. So what else you got there? You've got some sweatbands and other various objects. These boxes, they have a mirror which I will show you in just a second. You've got the, the yellow or the pink. Don't know why they're in different boxes, but there you go. There's the mirror. It's sort of like a fold-up stand. Around the back, you've got some bags. You've got some sort of makeup boxes if you're into makeup. You've got some umbrellas, bumper shoots as I call them, cups. This is a little like lamp light. Wasn't working. And then you've got some key rings here, Tom, Jerry. And there is another character, which I've not heard of. I can't think what he was called though. But it wasn't Tom or Jerry. I didn't know there was a third figure. But there you go. And you've got some luggage ties and some sandals. Anyway, let's go home.
Hey everybody, welcome back. So, four titles to show you from HMV and one subscriber mail. It's like 100 degrees in this room because I've had to shut the windows because of ambient noise outside. So I'm gonna crack on with it and then get some oxygen. Okay, first thing to show you is subscriber mail. So I'm a man called Paul who contacted me on Instagram. He's also a subscriber on YouTube as well. He said he had something I was missing from my collection. Not a film, but a slipcase. And it is for season two of Supergirl. I have all the others. So this is fantastic. It will complete the collection. Brilliant. I don't usually keep them for films, but I do for TV shows. So I will put that on in just a second and show you. Look at that. Fantastic. The missing one. Okay, so here we go. Going to remove the slipless case and put the new one on and put it back and see how they look. So thanks for that, Paul. Really appreciate it. You have completed that. Put my OCD at rest. Okay, first thing to show you is Raised by Wolves. This is season one of two. The show has unfortunately since been cancelled after the second season. Hopefully not on a cliffhanger. This is a science fiction drama which is set on Kepler-22b, which is, by the way, an actual planet discovered December 2011, 600 light years away in the constellation Cygnus, twice the size of the Earth and apparently habitable to some degree. Anyway, in the show, Earth's become a dangerous place to live. Wars decimated everything. A pair of androids take 12 embryos to Kepler to raise them in a non-violent manner. Only one human survives out of the 12 embryos, and that's Campion, played by Winter McGrath. The androids, known as Mother and Father, they're ex-war machines that have been reprogrammed, because that always works, doesn't it? They've been reprogrammed to keep the new occupants of Kepler safe. Mother's played by Amanda Collins. She's the more powerful of the two. One day, a ship arrives to take away Campion, but Mother's lethal military programming restarts, which doesn't work out well for the visitors. I'll leave it at that. First two episodes were directed by Ridley Scott. Now, he did remain on as executive producer throughout the series, and it's got a runtime of 492 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So the slip and the cover are exactly the same. And inside, we have three plain blue discs. So that is season one of Raised by Wolves. The next film happens to be the 28th film in the Marvel film franchise. It is, of course, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That is quite the title. It stars Benedict Cumberbatch as the title character, Doctor Stephen Strange. And this is going to be a tough one to explain story-wise. It's basically an extension of WandaVision. Uh, Wanda's trying to get her children back at any cost. And to do this, she needs to harness the power of a character called America Chavez who can hop, skip and jump herself through the multiverse. This will have obviously devastating consequences. So Doctor Strange is there to keep the status quo. That's all I'm gonna say about it. It stars Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda, Chiwetel Ejiofor as Carl Muldo, Benedict Wong as Wong. And there is a segment with the Illuminati, but I won't go into that, who, who features in that, because it's uh, spoiler territory, if you've not seen it already. Now, it's directed by Sam Raimi, who directed the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy and Ash vs. Evil Dead TV series. And this has got a whopping runtime of 127 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So, Disney have done it again. They have put these in a slim case. And that title, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, they've not written it all in one line. No, they've layered it, so you can barely read what it says there. I'm gonna to have to get this reprinted because that's just gonna look ridiculous on the shelves against all the others. And there's a plain blue disc. Why wasn't this released in 3D? This is the perfect film for a 3D release. So that was Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness in a very thin case, no 3D, no slipcover, but at least it's out on Blu-ray. Next title to show you is Criterion release. It's Okia, which stars Anne Seo Young as Miha. She's a young farm girl who takes care of a genetically altered female pig named Okia. Though it doesn't really look like a pig. It's got a different face, it's gray, and it's huge. The pig is one of 26 specimens sent out to various farms to be raised and judged. Now Miha and her super pig Okia bond over the time they spend together. It's crowned the best of the specimens from the Miranda Corporation who sent it there in the first place. So they take it from Miha and send it to New York City. Obviously, Miha isn't very happy about this and she wants to get it back. Now, for a South Korean film, this has got a fair few American actors in it. For example, you've got Paul Dano. He's the head of the Animal Liberation Front. You've got Tilda Swinton as Lucy. She is the CEO of the Miranda Corporation. Jake Gyllenhaal as Johnny Wilcox. He's a zoologist. And finally, you've got Lily Collins, who's playing an animal rights activist. Film has a runtime of exactly two hours. 
let's take a look inside. So inside there is artwork on the disc. There's a double-sided polite pamphlet. And a reverse image. So that was a criterion release of Okia. So next and last is a film that's divided audiences. It is The Northman, directed by Robert Eggers. The Man Behind the Witch and The Lighthouse, and now this one, is a historic action film from the legend of Amleth. And to be fair, it's been told throughout many cultures. It's all variations of a theme, even inspiring Shakespeare at one point. What they do have in common, though, is the character called Amleth, the prince who's on a quest for parental revenge. It's been done a few times in films as well. You've got the son who's heir to the kingdom, but his father's killed by his uncle, and he's forced to flee, and then in time comes back to claim what's rightfully his. Lion King, anybody? So in this, you've got Alexander Skarsgård as Amleth. His mother, the queen who was taken when the king was slain, is played by Nicole Kidman. Anya Taylor-Joy is Olga, and she's a sorceress and Amleth's partner. William Defoe is Jaime, the fool. And his brother, Fulnir, the uncle who killed the king, took Nicole, played by Clay's Bang. So this was filmed in Iceland and Northern Ireland, so expect nothing but beautiful cinematography. And it's another lengthy film coming in at 137 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So there is an image on the disc. See, Disney, Universal can do it. Why can't you? So that was The Northman. So that is it. Do you plan to watch any of those or pick them up? Or just want to leave a comment and then do so down below and I'll read every single one and try to reply if I have the time. Give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. Why wouldn't you? And on that note, all that's left to say is thank you so much for choosing my channel today and watching my video. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.